<clears throat> Yo, what? oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? It's TJ here from Snap TV and uh I'm here at this pond. Um I don't know if you can see. Yeah, actually. Um getting ready to put some traps for my tanks for my predator fish. Um I put like a shiner or something in there and uh baby green sunfish and there's like a oh yeah and some pieces of hot dogs oh and there is a yellow jack or something in there i don't want to get stung but i'm gonna be doing some fishing today too at least trying to this is this trap i made um it took me a very very long time a lot of pain sticking work at least with the first one and the second one. I'm not, I don't even remember, honestly. But all I do know I was, uh, oh shit. <laughs> I do know that uh, it hurt to do it with my bare hands. So, there's that. Okay, let's try to get this a little bit, like right there. And then tie it. You guys can't really see and I'm not really focused on trying to adjust it but just a little knot right there just so that way it stays I got a couple others that don't have string I'm not really too sure where I'm gonna put them I think I have an idea again not entirely too sure but yeah I'm gonna try a couple crankbaits might do a little bit of fishing over there Mostly just gonna do some fishing right here. Uh, there's largemouth bass, sunfish. Uh, what else? Uh, I can't remember. Bullhead catfish, little bullheads. So more than likely, that's probably what I'm gonna be catching with any of this bait that I have. Oh, these damn yellow jackets are annoying. Freak me out, kind of. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't like, you know, them being around. It makes me uncomfy. I think I actually have, uh, could probably just toss this one down there. Uh, this is the design of it. This is the very first one that I made. It's just a minnow trap. Oh, yeah, I got to take this one out because this one's actually more advanced than the other one. So, this one, I made a bait packet or bait bag, whatever you want to call it. Bait cage, bait basket. But it's basically just a tube of chicken wire. I have a, you know, a bottom piece right here. But normal fish traps that have two entrances. This one has one. This is the first one that I made. So, I just wanted to keep it simple honestly um as you can see green sunfish oh it's missing part of its face that's kind of gross these all died by the way um on my way back from another pond the pond that i've been trying to stock that i'm actually just kind of giving up on stocking um but yeah uh, these uh, just died. <clears throat> I was trying to take them back alive, possibly keep them for, you know, like in the tank. But that did not work out. But the bottle goes in, like that stays in. Oh, excuse me. All oh, nice and perfect. It actually doesn't come out. Like, I mean, it does. You pull it out, but it's. Ooh. My ADHD just activated so hard because I just spotted a frog down there. I see it still too. I'm gonna try and catch it. But yeah, it's snug enough in here to where it won't come out on its own. Like you have to uh, pull it out. You have to give it a little bit of a pull. <sighs> try to get this frogger. This water, this like waterway over here, I don't know if you guys can really see all the trash. This, uh, this, I, this neck thing is not very stable, so forgive me 
for that. I got this from Five Below. Got like five, five dollars and some change. I don't know if y'all can see the frog down there. He's right there. Try to set this. Oh, he's dead. He gone. Oh, piece of driftwood. I want to take that though is the question yes but do i want to risk it though kind of there's also some kind of interesting looking plants here that i might want to yoink I'm not too sure just like the aquatic stuff that's like around right here but i think i'm just gonna toss this like right there oh no that's oh okay never mind problem solved it fixed itself okay well it's sitting right there you guys can see hopefully there will be like minnows or something interesting um you know that goes in it um just also trying to see what else is just like around here it kind of sucks because the water used to come up like right here and a little bit further but it's gotten drained out over the years from like natural erosion to like from over there into the creek because this drains into a creek. Oh, there's a dead, you see either that's a dead crayfish or that's a, just a mole. Oh yeah, there's like actually a couple of dead crayfish. Wow, it's kind of gross. It's actually not very good if crustaceans are dying like that left and right in a water system. Crustaceans and amphibians are the first ones to take a hit they're the most sensitive and then fish die and then everything else just starts dying because <laughs> at that point the water is nasty and nothing wants to eat whatever is there but I think I'm just gonna bust out old reliable this bad mamma jamma right here There's a bug on my leg. Um, I just beat my leg itch. Alrighty. I'm gonna lower this bobber a bit. Considering how low the water is. Unfortunately, a lot of the bass that were in here and stuff. I don't think that are. I don't think they're in here anymore, because there's a big old crane or egret, whatever you want to call it, something that's uh, been over here, and it. I'm pretty sure it ate all the fish, or ate a good majority of them. That and like some of the turtles. I don't know how the, well this is gonna stay on, but we'll see. Please leave me the fuck alone. Oh my god. Why do bees always want to mess with me? I don't like this. <sighs> okay, I actually might have to just raise it a little bit. Okay. Oh, I just seen a turtle. Nice. And it came off. My worst fears came true. <sighs> I should have seen that coming. Okay, well, I got chicken liver, but that bee hornet yellow jacket thing is really starting to piss me off. And I really wish it would go the hell on and mind its business elsewhere. This right here. Hopefully I don't get a turtle, but chances are I'm gonna get a turtle. Cause there's a lot of turtles in here. Oh my god. 
This damn thing. You some bitch, go. Bam. All right. I could just get this hook to poke out without having stuff just squirt on me. Okay, come on. Yeah, I think I got it. There we go. All right. Boom. Probably gonna try to net this yellow jacket. I know that might be a cruel thing to do, but I do not want to get stung and I want to be left alone on this fishing trip from stinging insects. I just had to cast that out. Pause. Or, it's, uh, stop talking whilst I was casting that. I don't know. I can't English today, apparently. <sighs> Cannot speak properly. Jesus, yesterday it was like 60 some degrees here in Ohio. Hey, before that it was colder. It's like 50 something. And now today it's like 79, 80 degrees, something. This weather here is so weird. Fucking bites. Either that or that could be the wind. You can see it on my camera. All right, this thing is like. This is where I don't want it to be. So I'm gonna try to recast it out somewhere over yonder. And I might just let it sit, honestly. Come back when uh, we get bites something I also do as well alright if I don't get any fish out of that out of this trap right here because I'm thinking that I might get fish out of here because this is like you know a deep pocket of water I kind of just want to check it real quick I think I'm just going to say screw it and just check it real quick Oh, that is a big orb or weaver spider. That thing is huge. I need to be more uh, present. Okay. Nothing yet. So, just gonna leave that thing in there. Put it back. That's a deep pocket, so hopefully we'll get something in there, like a crayfish or some nice sized bait fish that I could uh, give to the bass and the muskie and all the other fish in there. Red tail too. I think I'm getting bites, but then again, who knows? It could just be the water, like the waves. Or just... Jesus, what is flying around me? Look like wasps or something. These. What I might end up doing is switching this to a uh, like a lure setup, maybe a crankbait, something. I'm not entirely too sure. And then switch my other rod to a. Uh, 
either this or kind of like a catfish rig just have it set up to where i would not not necessarily with a bobber i, could, I might put a bobber on it but just so i could do this and lure fishing because i don't really like using that one for lure fishing the reel's kind of big so like get anything in this trap over here uh, I might take and toss it over there just like right there maybe just to see if I can get some sunfish or something uh, might also maybe might go down in the woods and you know in the creek but that's kind of like a whole journey and now that i'm talking about it i kind of want to do it now <laughs> uh that's funny i'm a funny guy but i also don't want to leave this because it actually does look like there is something biting it i just can't tell if it's like a fish or if it's like a turtle or something Basically, where the water from here drains into, where I put the spot, I'm put, and it's like a pocket, it's like a big pool. I don't know how much water there'll be in it now, considering you know this has been kind of lacking. Ooh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This thing. Let's see what the hell is. Some bites, so I think this is a turtle. It's definitely gonna be a turtle. I don't know if you can see that. This little bite right there. I don't know if I can see myself, but I look like a turtle for sure. I cast this thing back out. It, it freaks me to sh fuck. Okay. This one's kind of like more of a flawed one, but it's all right. It doesn't matter. It's cool. I'm just gonna use some hot dogs. Hot dog chip. Might get something. Might not get anything. But I want to because if I don't, I'll cry. And so will my fish. Not really, but. I want to have like at least some type of food source for them that I will de-parasitize, whatever the hell the technical term is, uh, myself. So yeah, um, I'm just going to show you guys uh, like what I mean, what I meant earlier as far as like this. Just 
trying to also check for the bobber, but I don't even see it. Eh, who cares? But yeah, this all right here used to be like, you know, ground. Like all of this right here used to be ground. Now it is no longer. Actually, I see a minnow down there. That's that's crazy. Life is so freaking amazing. There's two of them. Wow, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my camera doesn't go in any further. Let me see if I can try to. Okay, I'm I'm recording on an iPhone uh 11. So yeah, the first shot probably had it good enough, but uh, yeah, this is draining from this pond over here. But uh, I forgot about this little way, so I'm gonna go here. But I'm actually just gonna I'm gonna leave this trap right here real quick, so I don't have to carry that around with me. But I need to go and see if my bobber <laughs> is still there, cause oh, never mind. Oh, 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 Shoot, got a fish, got a fish. Little bullhead, and I think I, I think I snagged it. No, I didn't snag it, it's just hooked on weird. First catch of the day, oh, I did, how the hell? How the hell did that happen? It got hooked, I, I swear to God, I swear to God. Y'all saw, y'all saw the piece fly off. Like, I, I, I did not do that. That's so freaking weird. What the hell? Oh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Look at that. It, it hooked. I don't even. What the hell? And what's worse is I don't got any like pliers or anything. This dude, like, just has, ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, shit, and all these bugs are coming over here. Come on, I need to get this thing out. Okay, there we go, got it out, got it out. All right, sorry, bro. But he probably will survive. It's just like a hole in the, the top, just like two little holes beautiful fish not gonna keep him though if he's a little bit smaller maybe but he's a bit too big so see ya he'll be okay hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> um maybe i can get back my bait that was so like I, I just i just that was so fucking weird by the way what the fuck like excuse my language if there's anybody that's like children and if you're watching your family with your family but what in the hell what in the heck <sighs> that was that was that was yeah that was something that was something i had a feeling it was gonna be a bullhead but i also thought <laughs> i was hoping that it really wouldn't have been a turtle but as soon as i started reeling that thing in i knew i knew it was a it was for sure a, a little bullhead little poo hit i'm actually what i'm gonna do uh, yellow jacket gotcha stinky i got that freaking yellow jacket y'all what the fuck oh okay it's dragonfly i'm chill with dragonflies as long as you know they don't mess with me Dragonfly larvae, the, the nymphs, they're actually really cool, and I would like to incorporate them in a, like an aquarium somehow. Or some sort of setup. I know they eat smaller fish, but um, they also provide a food source for other larger fish and amphibians and um, reptiles and stuff. This is a very, very nice piece of wood that I'm going to take home. 
like I'm gonna put this in this uh, little 55 gallon I'm setting up I'm probably gonna put the sunfish in there or something but yeah this is really nice also brought this but or bucket yes I brought the bucket but this jar very nice and clean jar that I just cleaned but uh, I want to do the dr. fish method oh excuse me and um try to like I, I believe it's the resurrection jar or something like that um <laughs> where you just get like a bunch of muck from like the pond or like a pond like that so like some muck like right there and then you know you get some like just dead material leaves sticks all that whatnot and then you get the water from the pond and then put that in a jar and let that sit for 30 days so we're gonna try, probably try that later but right now we're gonna try and traverse this this is very overgrown also homeless people live back here too so hopefully i don't get attacked because i don't have any weapons with me probably shouldn't be saying that out loud no either so This is like whew, my old stomping grounds. This is where I think with What the hell? What the hell? There's some, there's some shit going on in here. Amazon box. Hey, shit. Yeah, I don't want to mess with the homeless people. I ain't got no beef with the home, homeless, but I don't have anything of, of value on me other than the phone. I mean, like, you know, it's not going to be of much value to be valued if you, you know, it's locked. So. and see if I can get this in here. This used to be, oh, 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 there are, there's something swimming in here. Oh, it's a snail. Is this alive? Yes, it is. It's a nice addition. I need to keep looking down behind me because I just, I want to be sure that I'm not being like stalked or anything or hunted like I only want to. Okay, that is placed. So, hopefully, we get some little cool critters and whatnot. Let's uh, flip some rocks. Let's flip some rocks. Actually. I'm being hella sketched out. <laughs> I am gonna hold you. Oh, shoot. All right. Yeah, there's definitely something in there. I'm probably gonna take in, put this right in there. Right there you go. Is this snail alive too? It is. Good. 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 Huh. Explore a little bit. Yes, I do want to see what this is. Okay, that's a shopping cart. I thought this was like a big net thing. Oh, this could actually be a better spot. Like right here. For some minnows, maybe. I used to catch snapping turtles here as a kid, but obviously, as you can see, there's not really. Was that a tadpole? Oh, there's 
there's like freshwater clams in here too. Dude. I've hit like the mother load. For sure. Oh, dude, yeah, there is definitely some life. Some stuff that I am gonna want. No, that one's not alive. This one that I got in my hand is for sure alive, though. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back over here. Oh, I think my shoe kind of messed up. Grab a couple of these snails. What in the hell is this dude doing? I think these snails are like either cleaning themselves off or like cleaning each other off or like I don't even know <laughs> but definitely going to grab a oh yeah a handful of inverts like, oh yeah dude this is literally like the jackpot That's already established dead. Uh, I feel like I'm harvesting in like a very dangerous area in a video game. like a lot of snails and like three clams so that's pretty cool nice little haul oh there is a school of little minnows that I and for sure, I'm going to have to, I don't know if y'all can see him, but like these could be any sort of like baby fish. I don't know, but I do have a bait bucket specifically for these guys or, you know, yeah, I, yeah, for these guys or whatever little critters that I catch. Oh, there's like little inverts, invertebrates. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is, this is going to go crazy. Them little dudes swam off, so unfortunately. Okay, there's some more over here. My shoes are all muddy. Oh, 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 there's like a lot. There is a lot. I am glad that I brought my net because I'm for sure gonna go back up there, put these in this bucket, get the aerator on, and like go to town because these, oh, dude, if I can get it a large quantity of those little guys. They're going straight in the, in the 55 gallon aquarium. A lot of these things are actually. Gotta make sure this thing ain't like doing some weird shit. Okay, that's. Wow, I'm actually seeing like a lot of uh, areas where I could just easily, that are like way better than the spot that I picked for the trap. But since like I've actively seen fish moving over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it really quick because I could have some in here. Nothing yet. All right. Time to go back up 
and put these critters away. Oh, and then get some more critters for the aquarium. Oh. Well, I think I can feel them moving in my hand. It's kind of gross. Probably need to get some creek water. Okay, so recording cut out. Pulled up the trap and got this little guy. Uh, I think something's on my back. Ugh. I do not like being out. It's like insects and shit. Makes me severely uncomfortable, but yeah, I had to kill like three. All right, guys, I'm back once again. Um, camera stopped recording a bunch of times. I'm on my phone, I should say. Uh, kept running out of space. Had to delete some things. But... All is well. Definitely got some. Some bullshit, but not nothing I made. Oh! 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 We just hit the jackpot. Oh my goodness, we just hit the jackpot. We just got like a bunch of little fish. A bunch of little fish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta get this gunk out. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, these are like a little tiny one. Yeah. Got one green sunfish. No, I don't even know what type. It's like a bluegill of some sort. Oh wow, I even got another one. That's crazy. Two scoops in the same spot. You get stuff. Nice little snack. Mm bite size Oh, I got a crayfish. I like that. I was just thinking about it. I got a crayfish. Okay. And he just walked in that game, so. If so, we're definitely hiding in like the deeper rocks. Oh, oh, guess not. There is like a tiny little minnow in here. Tiny, this is the right here. Oh, I did not mean for all that gunk to get in there. Nothing to
Oh, wow. Let's pull. Fish, whatever these are. These are probably definitely. Oh, oh. <sighs> Bunch of big snails. Which ship's trap? What does it look like? Oh, wow. There is actually something in it. Poof on that line, a little fish. Get him out. There we go. And into the bucket. Okay. I'm so happy that I brought my net because I could just do that and not get nothing. That's funny. I actually did get something. I just covered it up with blood. That accident. What a bluegill. Alright, well. Oh my god, I hate when my headphones start to slide out. That's so annoying. try my hand at getting some of these little minnows if there's even still any over here oh this actually used to be completely full of water it's kind of unfortunate that it's not anymore kind of fortunate that it isn't at the same time because i can do this uh, i'm 24 so this would have been when i was like 12 very young Well, not very young, but, well, yeah, I guess compared to half, half my age now, I guess, I don't know. All right, so, I'm hoping that I can maybe even get some of these, let's see if I can even. Some, like, oh my God, maybe goes worse. That scoop, honestly. just get these. I think these are gambusha. Oh, mosquito fish. Yeah, these are, these are definitely mosquito fish. Yeah. You guys can't really see it, but I gotta get it in the water and die very quickly.
supposed to be. Right now, I think this is enough. Mm -hmm. And there's still another one. There's definitely still something on there. Expecting this. A little frog. Wow. Took this a do out. Subscribe to Snap TV. And follow on TikTok. I'm just playing. Alright. Be free. He go. I put him back in this little area. Damn near ready to fall. I didn't get anything else. That was what I saw. Yeah, all right. Time to go back. Because I do not need or want any bed frogs. Actually, I do have some tackles in that five gallon aquarium that I set up that I caught from a bass pond that has bluegill in it as well. Babies, but still. Definitely not a typical fishing video so far. Fish, fish, fish. Wow. Green sunfish. It's stuck. Dummy. Come on, get out. Oh no, he's getting pooped. Okay. I'm not gonna keep this guy. I don't want it. Too big anyway. I 
I'm not get this back up. Damn it. I literally cannot get this back up. Oh my god. Like, I just cannot move my, my damn hands. Okay, I gotta bend that. That's what you gotta do, okay? Okay, okay. Ah, shit. All right. Let's get back to business. Fishing business. That was very painful. I don't like those. I need to like build a better one. Or something. I don't know why I'm just standing here. Contemplating. Where's my bucket? Oh, right here. I'm going to get this big sunfish out, though. There it is. This guy. Oh, well, I could keep him, but... He's got... Oh, shit! Come on, bro. These... Bro, what the fuck? These goddamn yellow jackets, bro. Anyways, this dude's kind of beat up. I'm not really. Oh, oh, oh shit, shit, shit. Eh, it's got parasites too, but I could probably treat that. Oh, shit. I gotta fucking put him back in there. Cause these fucking yeller bellers. Yeller belly bastards. Come on, bro. I'll let you live if you leave. Cause what? <sighs> ah, shit. Might have to cut this little excursion short just cause all oh, that. And cause I got mud on me. So, fish. I do not have a knife with me. So I would cut this in half. These are actually really pretty fish too, by the way. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but that's like a very, very nice contrast compared to like its body. You know, like the silveriness of it. I think it's kind of cooked, to be honest. Like, actually, like, cooked, cooked, not like screwed. Like, it's sitting in the back. Just, these motherfuckers are actually, like, gonna make me spaz. I'm gonna have to cut this fishing trip short and go somewhere where there's, like, not, not these, like, yellow jackets. Okay, no, never mind. That's a butterfly. That's a butterfly. That is a yellow jacket on my feet, though. Let me get, like, because they're probably attracted to this nasty ass muck at the bottom of my shoes. And, like, the smell of that. That's kind of annoying. The, like, big ass stinking flies.
fuck off? Bro. These damn bees. Like, they're not stinging me or anything, but, like, they're just, like... I'm not fucking with it. I don't want them to, like, accidentally sting me or me. Like, take it out a couple of them. Shit. I'm have to spark my blood. I don't know how, like... I don't, I don't animals like... Some animals, like, insects might like the smell of marijuana. But I don't know if burning marijuana and tobacco will be a difference. Out though, definitely gonna we'll find out here in a second. I'm not gonna show nothing on camera. Um, also, if you're under the age of 21, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, realistically, I'm 24. I started it when I was like 18. It, it, it definitely can like mess up your brain cells, not to the point where it's gonna make you dumb or anything. I mean, it, it actually kind of can, but. It more or less, if you do it before your frontal lobe is complete, like finished developing. So like 25 for girls, age like 26 to 30 for men, um, it can cause like memory retention problems. So like you, you are a lot more forgetful. Uh, it's something else I don't remember, but um, it could definitely cause like anxiety and other things like that. If you're like anxiety prone, I've definitely um, smoked on some strains that had me tweaking, like quite literally had me tweaking. Like I was paranoid, so I wouldn't suggest that. Honestly, I wouldn't suggest like if you got schizophrenia or anything like that, uh, don't do it. Especially if you have a history of uh, schizophrenia in your family, don't do it. Because it's, it, it will bring that out. Like it, it quite literally can bring that out. Yeah. Anything, honestly, anything. You know, alcohol, we're not supposed to be drinking alcohol. Nothing that's not air, water, or food can honestly have like a lot of bad effects. That obviously not medicine, but I mean like, you know, uh, yeah, medicine too, medicine too, if you take too much of it and like for the wrong reasons, just like marijuana. If you take too much marijuana, you can't die from it, but you could definitely not feel good. You could get sick and stuff, but like I said, don't do it. Um, if you are doing it, then like, well, let me say this. Don't do it. If you're the under the age of like 18 to 21, I only say 21 because you know, you gotta be 21 to go to the dispensary. But if it's like legal in your state, obviously, you know, 21 to go in a dispo it's legal here. So I'm, I'm, oh, hell no, please, please. <laughs> you don't want me to talk about the marijuana. You don't want me to talk about weed. Uh, <laughs> that fucking yellow jacket was close to my chest. Bro, bro, I'm about to, I need to come out here with one of them, like, god dang, my jangle line. I can't even think. <sighs> them one things that are, like, electric, uh, badmintons like they're like fly swatters that's what it is electric fly swatter start fighting back for my freedom to fish without being harassed by fucking bees and shit shit i don't even have an issue with all bees like if they just like stop bugging me <laughs> bugging me but if they just stop like you know like coming over and harassing me i'd be fine also forgot to mention while i was like done recording or not done recording but one of my uh heard something heard something over there that was geese probably because there are geese over there but um when my camera cut off there was a baby water snake oh i think i'm getting bites That is definitely a painted turn. I can see the yellow markings on the side. Uh, red ears, that, the yellow marking on the side of its head. You, I can't see it from here. I'll try to get it closer. Oh, he's gone, Never mind. But 
those markings would be like reddish orange or something like that but yeah um i seen a little baby water snake over here he was like pretty little like he i was going to catch him it's gonna release him but you know Probably not, let's be honest, because like, that would be cool to have. Let's be real. Probably have to, though, but I want to see if he's still over here. And if I caught anything in this trap. Disappointed I wasn't able to get him. But I had a fish in my hand, and I had, like, not at the time, I hadn't even, like, put water in the bucket. So... I uh, definitely had to make a choice. Dead fish or possibility. Possible possibility of getting a snake. I don't even look like I'm gonna get nothing with this one. Whew, should we? This, I love how like nature just does stuff like that. Like with Oh, there's a fucking yellow jacket in this muck right here. But, like, how nature just does stuff like this. Um, like, plants will just grow out of, like, a tree. Like, a dead tree branch or something. That shit is just so cool to me. Like, wow. It's very interesting. And I love the aesthetic. Oh, my God. I thought somebody was coming up on me. I thought this was, like, a person or something. I didn't know what the hell I was witnessing from my peripheral. That's why I definitely, I feel like people with ADHD definitely <laughs> would uh, be at an advantage in a hunter-gatherer society just for all the reasons I've shown y'all. Like I've, you know, bed men conversation, talking about something, and then boom, I see something like probably very minute and minuscule that I shouldn't have even been able to see but yeah speaking of that as a kid when this was like a lot more full of water um I'm just gonna keep my eye over there but over here um when this was fit like higher with water uh at the shoreline the baby turtles would come and just like chill and I'd walk you know, along this edge, you know, trying to see if there, you know, any disturbance in the water. And like, I could just see like the slightest disturbance, a little twitch in the water. Or like twitch in the, you know, branches or leaves. Cause you know, like they'll, the little turtles are like, they'll go like right straight down into the, uh, you know, into the detritus in the leaf litter and whatnot. And I just shoot my hand down like I'm a bird or like, you know, like an egret, crane, whatever. And I'd either get a crayfish or, you know, a frog or a turtle or a tadpole or something. I really do love. I don't know if this is a southern thing, because like I said, I live in Ohio. I live in like northwest Ohio. I live like in Lucas County. I don't know if y'all know where that is. I'm not going to drop my exact city, but... <sighs> Um, the big old fat, like brown tadpoles, uh, they're called tadpoles, but like they, well, I mean, they are tadpoles, but I've always grown up calling them polywogs. I think that's like a, like a Southern Louisiana thing. But my family is from like Ohio. So I don't know how we got the term polywog, but it's probably, I got some, like, just, I have redneck family, so it's probably what it was. Um, like turtle soup like they go like up north to michigan and they uh get big old i can't even show you in the camera right now but big old snappy turtles like they get like 50 gallon drum barrels and put one or two big big snappers in the bottom of it i'm just watching my bobber right now making sure i john don't go away but they're gone now my great grandparents have like passed on years ago I wanted to try turtle soup, but I don't trust shit no more. Just with like how people dump shit in water. 
and actual shit in the water. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. This fucking... These damn yeller jackets. These old yeller jackets. I think one was like on my hand, dancing around and touching it. Probably because it stinks. It smells like rot. Scarlet rot. Ugh. I just thought about that. Scarlet rot probably stinks. Oh, I just realized that. Oh, bro. That's probably like, I, I, I don't, if y'all have ever played Elden Ring and gone, gone through Kaled, the Scarlet Rot, like, bro, Kaled is literally just like a whole, like, it's like a whole town or country, whatever. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is a big-ass water snake. That is a big-ass black water snake. I'm not going to go down there and catch it because that thing is way too big. I do not have, like, anything to try and get it with, so I'm going to sleep for a while. But, yeah, basically, like, this whole country, essentially, like, in Elden Ring, got quote-unquote nuked with scarlet rot not really nuked but people just meme and say it's nuked but um yeah it's like a whole country with like this oh my god bro please not to fucking cry <laughs> anyways it's like a whole zombie plague thing but uh i think like the rot the scarlet rot is like a fungus or something like that but it causes like shit to rot you know and decay and whatnot but i think that shit would stink like an entire country smell like that shit probably smell like nah that'd probably definitely smell worse than the countries where they have to like poop they don't have like running water or anything where they have to like poop in the streets and stuff I'm not going to say it's a specific country because I honestly don't remember where I, what country I heard that about from. And I don't even know if that's true. I imagine that could happen anywhere in some, like, poverty-stricken country. That could probably even happen here in the U.S. if we ever gone through, like, a second Great Depression. A greater depression, if you will. Depression squared, if you would. I'll see myself out. But I digress. Um... Yeah. I don't know. Don't look like I'm going to get any the other bites. Please leave me alone. Oh, I'm getting bites too. I'm getting bites. Literally right when I said that. And I'm getting like harassed by yellow jackets. Come on, please. Take the hoe. Take the hoe. Take the hoe. Take it. Take it. Take it. By the way, like I said, I'm not from the South. I don't got no family from the south, but I'm good at I'm good at voices. To my best of my ability. Oh, damn! I just lost it. That's unfortunate. Well, down to one bait. I could put some liver on it, but I don't even know if this thing is like even thought at all. And I don't have a knife. Oh Lord. Dude, this is like too mushy. Ugh. I can't use that. I can I think I can only be able to use that for like chumming. What's on the cover? I'm not gonna point my camera up because I don't know if that's like legal or not, but I could definitely tell that's undercover. It's like a black, it's like SUV. I don't know my cars or anything, but you could just tell it's very 12, very opposition, very oppish, if you will. Ah, what the fuck?
Well, considering that, I'm gonna wait to spark my blunt a little bit longer. Cause although it is legal here, like federally, actually I don't even think it's federally, but right? like you know, you can it's recreational, you can buy and smoke it, but and all that shite. But I think you could still get like a ticket, you know, like drinking in public and all that. I don't want a ticket because I don't got the money to pay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some nipples. Bro, like, I need to figure out a way to keep bugs from harassing me. Specifically bees. Because... I don't like it. Oh, hell no, brother. Hell no, bro. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no, that's just a butterfly. I'm tripping. Bro, I, I just do not like that, how the butterflies look a lot like the uh, yellow jackets. And you can't tell what they are until they land. And they just, I think, like, the like the butterflies just want to land on you to, like, I think just drink the salt this coming out of like my sweat because i know butterflies tend to do that like they'll land on uh alligators and turtles and like uh drink their tears because it has like salt in them or whatever but i think the yellow jackets they're trying to get like meat or something like they're actually trying to like eat decaying matter and i smell you know like i was just in like creek meat. so i imagine probably smell a little appetizing to them and i don't want to get bit bit or stung by yellow jacket that just does not sound pleasant at all so i do not want to experience that at all and right when i say that they come right at my feet there's like two of them but they were like not really interested in me so that's okay what the hell oh it's a beetle yeah, look at this beetle. I'm cool with beetles when they're not in my room. They're like flying around and like freaking me out. Beetles just sound like terrifying when they're like like buzzing around and shit. And like smacking into shit. Oh my god. That terrifies the fuck out of me. Just like it's just terrifying. It's kind of unfortunate that I'm only catching one. I'm gonna say that I've only caught one fish on the pole and I know that I said that <laughs> that I uh, was gonna uh, do a lure but I don't think I'm gonna do a lure because of these bees and I wanna get these little fish back home get them acclimated This, whatever this is, it's like playing with my, it's playing with my emotions. I'm gonna recast it. Oh hell no! Oh, it's stuck. Fuck. It's not stuck, but like, okay, never mind, never mind. Never mind. The line was like underneath some awkward stuff. Like it was underneath a rock. Oh, dude, if there were Bofin in here, man, that'd be cool. Bofin is, like, on my list. Yeah, pike, musky, uh, need to catch me some of that. <laughs> I know of a spot that's, like, another 30-ish minute walk from here, because I did walk here. Um, but I'm not going to be going there today, because, shoot.
accidentally stopped uh, recording, but my phone is at 53%, so I definitely, definitely ain't going to be going to uh, this other spot, but I will definitely have to make a video of it because there's some nice trails and there's like just some things that I would like to gather from there as far as like materials for aquarium. I still have to go down there and get some materials. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that butterfly. Oh, you can chill on my deep out right now. Butterflies are like neat. There's a lot of animals that I find neat. Oh shoot. Let me grab this bag. I don't want this to go flying away. And I think I'm getting my bait pulled. Alright, let's check and see. If we've got another fish. Oh, it's a yellow jacket, bro. It's literally one right here. Oh, hell no. I can't do it on the pipe. I can't do that on the... The fucking pipe. <laughs> can't do it. Try this again. That is a big ass spider. Oh shit. Oh shit, stuck. Oh no! Damn. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That was not. Oh shit. And it's another fish. It's another fucking fish. What you expect? There you go, friend. Oh, oh yeah, well, there's still bait in here. Just realized that. bait Res retrieve I just smack where I, I just smacked the fuck out of whatever that shit was with this finger. It touched and I heard it smack. It was like shit got in my face. Buster Brown. I have to pee so bad. back uh start again bites as i was putting my hair up i'm fighting for my life from these insectoids
All right, well, that fucking piece of uh, fish is lost. Wasps. They could have it. I don't care. Shoot. If that'll keep them away from me, so be it. Because... Also, I would really like it if somehow I was to get, like, a baby bullhead in, uh, like, one of those traps. That'd be really, 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 really cool, I feel like. Bro, ain't no, f it's always this dumb ass shit. Like literally some fucking, <clears throat> how does this shit even happen? This is like all on my thing. Come on, get off. Dude, again. How the hell does that even happen? Now it's got all the fish juice on here. <sighs> yeah, see, I definitely was trying to get that thing back in the water. Because I already seen like a yellow jacket or a bug or something. Already trying to get on it, bro. What the fuck? Why are y'all coming at me? Ah, throw that piece of fish back in the water. Now y'all ain't gonna have nothing. Like, they're not stinging me, which I appreciate, but I also, like, would appreciate them, you know, not coming in my fucking space. Um, they made vice. Turtle. Yeah, turtles. Take my damn bait. Oh, sir. oh wow, I'm surprised. No fish. Actually, genuinely surprised at time. He's probably eating hot dogs. Probably what was baiting them. I need to go to a spot where the bass fishing is just peak. It's peak little spots. Well, judging by the fact that uh, I'm still getting fish. Okay. So if this spot over here, this area over here is deeper over there there's actually still like a like pond over there but i don't ever get bites over there anymore i used to when i was younger you know when i was younger the only thing that was in here was like carp and goldfish like pet store goldfish and now there are like native normal fish you know like bass and whatnot <laughs> So I think that's pretty cool. I'm happy that like the ecosystem or something is that like reestablished itself or something. But a lot of these fish in here got parasites, like the black dot booty bounce thing. I don't know, I don't like that. And there is a uh, a large amount of uh snails in here so i think that does play a part into it as well it's like a snail parasite yeah this 
I'm looking at this yellow jacket and it's just munching on that fish. Like actually, like it looks like it's like upper, the upper half of its body is just like chewing. It's gross. If I lose this piece, then I'm probably, I might throw out a crankbait or something. Might have to see what's out there. I know there's bass in here for sure. Like, it's not a matter of if ands, butts, or coconuts. Like, I've, I've seen them, you know. But, hell, the one fish, I don't even know if I, actually, I didn't record it. But, oh, well, I did try to record some of it. But the video, I just didn't even catch anything, so it really wasn't worth it. But, um, yeah, I've caught one of my pet bass from here. That was in the, uh, it was the bass that was in the separate, uh, tote for a long time. I never gave it a name, but I let him go in the, uh, other pond. So, hopefully he's living and prospering. Probably not, because I... Ooh, fish bite, fish bite, fish bite. Probably, uh, I don't think so, because like, I, I noticed that there was a cormorant when I went back there. So. That cormorant is probably getting fat on the fish. But what I also noticed is that the fish that I've been using as bait uh, this fish I actually got from that pond and I only thought that they were green sunfish back there, which was quite the surprise. Cause at one point I knew that they were like Creek chump minnows or something. And then a few years later, there's none and I'm only getting green sunfish. And then like, I got crayfish out of there at one point and then like, Mind you, okay, okay, let me restart, let me restart. So, at the same time, I was getting the uh, Creek Chub minnows. I was getting the crayfish originally. And then, a few, few years later, I'm only getting green sunfish. Now, this pond isn't managed by anybody. It's just kind of left to its own devices. I've never caught a bass out of there. I've never caught a baby bass out of a minnow trap, fit, uh, uh, cast net, anything, nothing. Only green sunfish and um like just other shit i've put like you know different species of turtles back there uh it is a hundred percent a snapping turtle haven back there like a hundred percent because i've gotten baby snapper like two no i've gotten a yeah a baby snapper from there <laughs> We're in the parking lot because it's an actual business they found it in the parking lot. Oh, shit. Look at this dude. Don't try to come over here and tell me I can't fish. Okay, he don't look like he's about to come over here. He's doing some other shit. I don't know. now if the, the pond is like connected to another body of water or something because I put goldfish there at one point I haven't seen any goldfish so I'm hoping that's not the case because if that is the case then that mean all the fish that I've put in there have just like kind of swam off they're not actually like living in there they have gone like elsewhere I don't think like the pond overflows like it, it does get like you know the shoreline gets pushed back back further and the pond will get deeper and more water in it but i don't think i've ever seen it overflow like to the point of like fish coming like all the way all the way up like there's definitely like a ditch that shit that comes out but it doesn't lead anywhere like to any other body of water so, yeah, I'm getting 
lights over here right now. No, I hate when they just like disappear out of you. Out of your field of vision. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, fish on, fish on. Ah, oh, I missed him. Oh, I missed him. Ah, oh, fuck him, he steam. Bloody hell. Damn. It's probably a little bullhead. These. Bro, can y'all go away? Y'all go away. I'm about to fucking just get rid of this damn thing. Kick that whole little boat. Kick it into the boat. Decent sized crayfish, that thing was about the size of the thing. Right now. Mm -hmm. So they ain't really feeling the, uh, the dead fish. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna catch a bowfin or a piker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what it seemed like, but further down this waterway, like that way, um, like in that, in this creek, this creek right here, um, like way, 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 way far down a few years ago, well, not a few years ago, it's probably like shit five or six maybe seven or eight i don't even remember probably more than like seven or eight but it's probably like 13 or 14 i seen either it was a pike i don't i don't even remember but i know it was in the pike family it was about yay big it was about like a foot long it was a little guy um but I, because at the time I didn't know what a chain pickerel was. So I'm only saying that I know for a fact that it was like in the pike family. So either it was a chain pickerel, a young pike, or a young muskie, which I highly doubt was a muskie. But it was dead. 
and I was so pissed because somebody had uh, speared it and I had never even seen one in here nor like even caught one like, I didn't even know they existed in here like I heard that there were soft shell turtles in here I ain't never caught any I've never seen any shoot I don't know they could be in here but it just doesn't seem very likely considering how these banks are like how they're rocky this is perfect for you know like turtles like uh banded turtles hard shell turtles because they can climb out and all that but for like soft shell turtles no nah, i don't think so they need like a bank like that right there this area probably yeah it probably could be over here because they could they they need like a uh an easy area to get in and out of for when you know like they need to lay eggs but yeah no oh well so everybody in here is still doing pretty good that's actually fabulous that is phenomenal i love that what in the fuck i don't know if y'all can see that but why why does that look like a uh, jigsaw that dude looks like it's right around like he jigsaw or something oh yeah he was on like a little thing okay yeah. oh, oh, oh. we got fish 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 Set that thing back right down. Like I said, though, it would be really cool if I caught some, like, baby turtles or something. Something in, like other than, like, fish and them traps. Like, even a sal- oh, bro, like a salamander or something. Or, like a, like a, uh, like a, uh, tiger salamander nymph. Like the, uh, American, they're basically American axolotls. Because tiger salamanders and, uh, axolotls are, like, very, very closely related very closely related to the point of like where um i believe well let me not say that but um when axolotls will like actually morph into salamanders like because some of them can morph into like an actual terrestrial salamander um they look like tiger salamanders just depending on like what their morph is though like the, the body shape at least um, they don't have like the same colors but they basically just look like a palette swapped tiger salamander those things are really cool like well, I'd, I'd love to have one of those as a pet like just get it as like a you know like a uh, an axolotl or like a uh, tadpole or whatever or a nymph and then raise it up into like a salamander I'd be so so cool um this other spot that I was talking about previously, that actually, there are like vernal pools and there are blue spot salamanders. There's blue spot salamanders. Fucking bug in my eye. 
fucking. A couple of kids just sat behind me. Literally every time I say that, literally every time I fucking say that, I start thinking about nothing's about to play. I start to play. I start to play. I should just like. Just need to take it down. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. Last shot. Oh, damn. Okay. Last, last shot, because that was... That was terrible. Cast. That's great. Alright, well, I guess now it is time to switch to a different bait. So, what shall we do? I don't think there's anything big enough in here to leave any of that. However, these are crank baits. I haven't tried this one yet. This is a new one. We're gonna try it today. Light that off. Cause I'm gonna have the cutters. Can y'all like, please not come by me? Cause I'm over here trying to just tie on my damn bait. This is Widow Wee Table. shit on hopefully we get something on it i got a bigger version of it kind of oh, this thing is kind of cool actually i'm definitely i might i might throw this out i'm not gonna lie because it's got the square bill on it and oh no it's it's in my bag it's hooked on my bag how in the fuck I got yellow jackets surrounding me, bro. Bro, like, fuck off. Leave me alone. Now I'm just like... Not having a good time right now.
Okay, there we go. I think I already, I think I stepped on this. I definitely got a hit. I definitely got a hit. <laughs> this is a little tiny one. But it was a hit nonetheless.
so disappointing to see how like shallow this is. I used to be in the water. Oh boy. Now ducks and cranes and stuff chill over there. Try and get a little quick bite to eat. Past it. Damn near all the way over to the other side. Bait caster problems. I'm still with this.
I'm not even getting any bites. There's like an eagle or something. Oh no! And I lost my crankbait. That's not good. That is not good. I think. I think that's. That's gonna wrap it up. Probably. I believe. Perhaps. I found a hook. That's cool. A broken one. Not really broken, it's bent. If I can bend it back into place. Hell yeah. I apologize for, you know, the lack of fish catches, but definitely in the next video, I'm gonna have to post something interesting. Um, if you guys like this video, leave a like, comment, um, if you made it this far in the video, comment potato, comment potato in the comment section so that way I know and you know subscribe if you want to see more of my channel my content whatever I post um follow me on tiktok at snapped tv um you'll see me I'm smiling holding the fish for my profile picture I also put it in the description of the video this is a cool ass snake skin wow look at that So there's like a water snake or something that lives over here. Very, very cool. <laughs> but, that's what I'm saying. So, Ryan passed me on the bike. If you guys like the video, leave a like. Comment potato if you made it this far into the video. And subscribe if you would like to see more of my content and more of my videos um i'll probably just be posting the putting the fish like those little fish in the tank a separate day or not a separate day in a separate video i'll probably just like record it when i get back to home but more than likely i ain't gonna post it today what just also kind of looking over here yeah guys i'll see you guys in the next video see you